Hi everyone, so I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial today. Um, this is something I found on one of the people I follow. Uh, Pouring Your Heart Out is the name of the site. It's a lady called Julie. She does some lovely crafts. Both uh, main things, painting, but she does do resin work as well. And I've mixed up some resin. It's been sat here now about 17 minutes. I've just done a little test dot on the counter here. I don't know if you can see that at all. Um, and it's, it's hopefully thick enough to do what I need it to do. So let's just pour a little bit in each of these cups. And what I intend to do is make some centerpieces for coasters. Ooh, come on, stop. And anything else that needs a centerpiece, really. So don't put loads in these. I've just mixed up 80 grams of resin with 40 grams of the hardener. Um, so it's 120 grams altogether I've got here. So I'm only doing a little bit of each because I really don't know how far this is going to spread. So I don't really want it spreading too far. So I'm starting off with my glitter. So I've got a little bit of pink. Okay, you see. And I've got these probably from Amazon. To be fair, most of my stuff, as you know, is Amazon. Oh my goodness me, it's just gone all over the place this one, which is not good because I need a clean counter. I'll oh, put that in there. So I shall clear that off in a second. I'll just get a little paper towel. Of course, Amazon's come to see what's going on. I need all this completely clear. Just wiped off what I put there, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Now I've actually got a bin bag down on my counter and I bought myself a rubber mat. Uh, this was eBay, I believe, actually, unusually for me. Get off. Right. Um, it is actually supposed to be a food for food rolling out and what have you, so of course it's got all the measurements. Uh, get off. It's got all various measurements around for when you're rolling out pastry and what have you. I have to just drop a few of these in. Actually, I think I might need these a bit thicker, so I'm going to pour quite a bit more in these. Um, yes, yeah, so it's quite a thick silicon mat. But I have found when I was doing the painting pieces the other week, the um, My table underneath got affected by the heat. So I've got some marks under my table. So I've got the black bag down. I've also got the heat mat and I've got, I'm doing the work on grease proof paper. So they are going to be matte, but that's not going to matter because when I put them into the resin pieces, it'll be covered by the resin so you'll get the shine back that way. So let's just mix these in. So it's really, really thick, which is what I need. Okay, so I'll just give them a quick mix. Okay. See there's all right. And the lie down, you're not going out a minute. Here you go. No, come on, lie down. She sat at the back door looking at me to see her let me out. Because I know if I let her out, she's going to start having a go at the cat next door, who's quite happily sat in its window, but she wants to tell it off because it's sat and she can see it. And she's actually started chewing my fence to try and get to the cat next door, which is not good. So, right, what I'm going to do hopefully now, I know this is just going to sit, I'll just keep an eye on that, should be fine, is just pour these into little circles. And I've drawn a line, if you see, I've drawn a line around, because that's the size of my lid that I'm going to put over the top, so I've got um, a container, so I don't want to do it too close to the edge. It's, quite, it's not that thick, this, at the moment. Even though it's been sat, well, 20 minutes now since I stopped. And it's spreading out. I'm just on the... E, come on, don't go any further. Do as you told. All right, and it looks like it stopped, so I'll do another one here. And so I got this idea from Julie, pouring your heart out. Wonder if I put too much in these, I'm gonna make them too big, but while I'm decent size as well, so right, so hopefully 
gosh, it's blue. These blue ones want to get everywhere. This isn't a nice round shape. Let's see if I can push this in, make it a bit more of a rounded shape. Push it in, push it out, whichever. I don't want it too high either. There we go. It's a bit of a wonky shape, but it's still that's cool. I quite like that shape. So I, I don't mind. I don't mind a little bit wonky. So I'll move these over here a minute so you can see what I'm doing on this one. Not quite over in a minute. Right, let's do a blue. And push it out a bit and let it just give it a moment to settle itself before I put any more on. It's spreading out, but it's, it's not spreading out too far, which is what I want. Bring that little bit in, tiny over there. Yeah, that looks fine. I don't want it to go beyond the line. It can't go beyond the line, so I'm going to stop that there. <laughs> Perhaps I think I did that a bit close. Getting a bit big this one, don't know why it's disappearing off that way. Yeah, that's cool. It's gonna be a nice wonky shape. I seem to have a lump there underneath. So it's dragging itself off in the wrong direction. So if I just pull it all up, I mean it will just pull off this. Um, baking paper, I've done it on baking paper, loads of things on baking paper before with resin. And it pours off quite nicely so it's not a problem. And it's this I want in a nice circle. I've got a little bit left here which I'm going to pour in there. I'll put that one in there. Rascal. Oh, I see this should let sit a little bit longer. That's fine. That's good. It's all good. I don't know what you guys are up to today, but I'm having a nice crafty day today. I've just had a new mold come. So which I'm really looking forward to doing. I've got a couple of other ones upstairs that came in a couple of days ago. So I should be doing those later, so that'd be another Fun time doing those up. Right. I might use my finger in a minute when I finish doing the rest. Right, let's have a look. It's a nice pinky, light pink, very pale pink. See, that one's just sitting quite nicely. So, why the others couldn't do that, I don't know. Probably because I put too much in. It's sort of a semi tutorial, this one. <laughs> I just noticed this one's got a bit of blue in it. That's fair enough. There we go. So patience is not my virtue, is it? Let's get that in. Should have probably done three. I'm gonna push it to two. I'm just gonna have a little tidy up with this blue. Let's settle in a bit. I mean, anything that's over, too far over that you don't like, you can cut them off later. I mean, if I pull these off, sort of after about 12 hours, which will be this evening, what is it, what, half past 11 now. So by sort of 10 ish this evening, I'll be able to pull these off and just trim them round. So it's not too big an issue, they're going too mad. Gosh, I wonder if I can. Put these out in two, three. No, it's not going to let me do that. It wants to go with that one. So if I pull that that way, I'm guessing my table isn't as flat as I think it was. I haven't actually put my um, spirit level on it, which I think could be a really good idea to do. Just 
put it where you want it to be. And get it in the shape you want and hope for the best. Because resin will do what resin wants to do. It only sort of half listens to what you want it to do. There we go. Is too huge. Right, so that? Oh, so, so the blue ones have now decided to say hello to each other. I shall deal with that in a minute when it's a little bit thicker. All right, so I've got the last one here. And I've learned from my mistake. Do just a little bit. And then a little bit. Oops, take away that pinky bit there. Another little bit. I'm waiting to see what happens a minute. And I've got space here, I can do another one because I've got a little bit left. Rather than trying to push it into those, let's make a fourth one. There we go, that's better, isn't it? That one's going a bit long, so let's pull him in. Right, let's see if we can do something with these blues. Right, let's try and separate it like I did with these down here. Separate it out. So without touching the others. And on this side, I'll scoop it over. Now, I'm no expert at resin, obviously, because I haven't been doing it that long. Doesn't matter how long anyone's been doing it, I think they're always learning, and I know I always am. Even with the things I have been doing for quite a long time, there's always something new to learn. This is my first time at making these, so I'm hoping. Oh, I know they'll be fine, no, that isn't an issue. I brought another pair of gloves down with me because I'm doing this back in my kitchen. There we go, so I've got four, uh, four, I can't count anymore, my goodness me. I've got three little inserts. So once they've, been, once they've dried out and they're ready, I'll um, show you what I'm doing with them. All right, so that's the blue. This one's gone a little bit wonky here, so let's tidy him up a bit. Also my dog's decided to have a wander. Okay, tie those in. So anything that's sort of sticking out that you don't like when it's dry, you can just trim them off. It's not a problem. Now if you've got a cutter, you could probably use a cutter on them. As you cut them into shape. You know, if you've got like a round, decent solid one. This one's the size to go for about as well, so let's pull him in. So that hopefully, oops, then where that went, we're there. That's a little bit off shape, but I mean, I can cut out, so I'm not overly fast. So I'm going to just do it, move these over to the side. And change my gloves. Bear with me. Okay. And a bit lighter. This one, so it still seems to uh, can't speak, still seems quite runny. So, pop this lid on top of here. Right, so they can dry without any dog fur attaching to them. 
got another piece of grease proof on this one and I'm going to use the lid of this on top. I want to do is put that on there first because it's just a plain piece of card. Just give it a nice flat surface. There we go, and those on top. So, what I'm going to do now is do the next blobs with just clear for now. And I'm actually going to use gold, silver, and copper leaf. So, let's put a blob on there. People see doing these do them in break it all up so it's really really small. Uh, I quite like bigger pieces. Quite like the bigger piece look. my leaf from, from um, Wish, all my gold leaf, silver, copper, and even got rose gold somewhere. Um, so going to be in the pot. Um, ah, the rose gold, this is the rose gold. What's our silver somewhere? Right, you want to be rose gold? You can be rose gold, that's fine. Um, I've just got silver leaf. That's it. The only trouble with it, of course, buying anything from Wish, it does take a while to get here because it all comes from China. But it's also a lot cheaper. So when you start running low, order it, or sort of probably about halfway, order it sooner rather than later. Make sure you get it in time for your next project. Whoa, get off. Go in there, there we go. Got my finger, there we go. I will be doing a tutorial on how to use gold leaf on other projects because I have done it a few times myself now. Um, using the size and doing it on card and paper. Um, I haven't actually done it on canvas yet so I might do my tutorial with the canvas one because it would be a learning experience as well. Um, Oh God, that, that's silver, that's gold. If I can get my eyes straight, we'll be fine. Now I do need my copper one. Yeah, that's the copper. So I've actually got some pieces I'm doing with copper at the moment. So these last ones I'm going to do all copper because I know I've got a couple I need straight away. See anything I'm doing and you want to see me do variations of things, then let me know. I'd love to hear your comments. Or comments on how I can do things maybe a bit different or better or whatever. Probably used to talk about that thing, right? So let's tidy this up. Do is put a little bit of resin on top of each of these, just really to cover up the silver, uh, not the silver, but the foils, just to make sure they stay put. A little bit more, I'm just starting them off with this bit. Just wiggle it on. Again, like I say, if you keep it centered, keep your foil centered, 
or leaf scented, whatever, then you can um, move it down even a lot lower than that. That one's got an awful lot in it, but never mind. Squish it down. So these should look absolutely stunning. So I've gone from one extreme to another app and I've got loads in that one and next to nothing in that one. So it is quite bulky. So I don't really want to put any more. I was just going to say I'll put some more on, but I don't think I will. It's quite, quite chunky and I don't want it too high. Um, and I'll put in other pieces. Just literally just using up this last bit of resin because I don't like wasting resin. These two are joining at the hip here. But again, I'll uh, just trim that off. That's fine. There we go. So I should now pop on some cups. Just on the corners. And the lid. Oh, sugar from fairies. Stuck to my hand. I can't stick to my hand. I've got a pinny on, so I can't stick it to that. Right. There we go. So I'm just using the lid of the box that's currently underneath. So I'm just going to pop this on top there. Now, what I'm going to do is just get a sheet, big paper, which I've got upstairs, and just literally cover the whole thing so nothing can get in around the sides either. And it will stay there now till later today when well, I should probably trim it off but you'll soon find out when I get around to it later um, see you very shortly for you and several hours for me have a great day guys bye got a few towels over these in the end this was easier than the paper the paper got on my nerves so these are the centre bits as they were as you see they're pretty much joined there's a couple there or one, no two, let's see, let's stay separate. I will just sort of trim around. But all these obviously have to be trimmed as well. So what I'm gonna do is take them all upstairs and see, I'll show you I'm trimming them up. And then down, it's that one. And let's look at these, I can't see these ones. Well, some of these have stayed quite nice, don't they? Yeah, but so that's what I was after. Got some really nice ones with these. So I'm just going to take off that little bit just across there, take this extra bit off. But these bits I'll keep and I can use in other things. And so that one that's joined, so it's done pretty well there. Watch out for that. So, right, I'll take you upstairs and we'll have a look at um, trimming them down. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I found what I want to stand. So these are the these are the pieces I did for the centres. So they come off baking paper really, really easily. Now, we've got some weird shapes. Now, I can leave them some weird shapes, which I probably will do. I'm just going to do is trim off the little bit of pointy bit there. This rounds it off a little bit. hate to think where that ended up. Um, but I will keep them in the strange shapes for now. You can see that at all. And I've got myself a little box here. It's obviously a takeaway box. Now uh, in here, you know the little um, pots I use for mixing the resin, the silicone ones? These are the bits that are left at the bottom after doing other resin pieces. I always leave it in there to dry, then I pull it off and throw it away. And I was looking at them after doing these, I'm thinking, I've got some lovely little shapes and colours and things going on here. So I thought I'm going to keep them. So I've got those in here as well, so I've all got these as well use. Again this one's come out of a bit of a funny shape but you know quite easily go into a piece and another long one. I can trim these round as and when I want them depending on what I'm doing. Now I've got a few bits that have done this. So I've got two here that have joined so I'm definitely going to cut this down. Cut that little piece off in there. As you can see I mean this is only, I didn't do it yesterday. Uh, I actually did it original video but it was the day before yesterday. My grandson yesterday, so this is after two days because it's quite thin, it's still very pliable. Okay, so very easy to cut, pull them off, 
I love these quirky shapes, I'm not bothered about that. If I want a particular shape or a round one, I can just trim it round to how I want it. I'll sit in the tub here quite happily, they're not going to go off. I've got, because it's on grease poo paper, it's a matte base, I've got a nice shiny top. So all I need to do is put in clear resin and it will come up you know, quite nicely, just sit underneath. So it doesn't matter that that's matte because it will sit on top of resin anyway, so it will come out shiny. I've got a nice long tail on this one, and in comparison that's quite a large one. But again, I can just trim them down as and when I want them. Uh, it is the silver, gold and copper, or rose gold, not so sure. Now there were some other bits to this, but I've taken them off because I needed them for parts I've done. So what I can do is when I've finished the other parts, I will pop up some photos just to show you how they actually sit in a piece. So I have actually put them in, so I'm trimming this down already. You see how easy it is to just trim down. And it sits there quite happily. Again, it's a matte back, but you're going to sit on top of resin so it will become shiny. So that's not a problem. And this is one big sheet, basically, which is why I'm going to trim it off. These resin bits won't show. Once you've actually got it inside a resin coaster or art piece, whatever it is you want to use it for, you won't see the clear resin underneath. You won't see the lines with the clear resin underneath. Okay, so let's just pop this round. Trim it down, just like that. All done, nice and easy. This is a huge piece here, but I don't need all that. Oop, just cut it all off. Just cut it off. Now I'm looking at all these bits I'm cutting off. It's some nice big pieces here. And I kind of don't want to throw them out because I don't know if it's the crafter in me or what it is, the hoarder in me, who knows. No, I don't actually hoard as much as I used to. I do chuck out an awful lot of stuff. But I don't want to waste the resin. I don't want to waste it. I don't know what to do with it, to be fair. So, and if these ever end up when you get to doing your piece, whether it's a coaster or um, a painting, um, a table mat, whatever, which is a coaster really, isn't it? Um, whatever it might be, whatever you want to actually put these in, you can just cut this through. I mean, this is actually, you see the texture of it, it's still very lumpy. So if you put it into the resin that way up, then you end up covering that, so that then becomes the front of your piece. Or you can put it in that way up and just make sure you cover the top of the resin, the top of it with resin rather. So you can see it's quite quite lumpy on there, which doesn't matter. Once you've resin it, it's going to be fine. So I shall think about what I'm, whether I'm going to keep these or not. See, it's quite big chunks. I now have myself a little pot of resin centres I can use for well, pretty much anything really. I will show you the coasters I've made once they've cured, because they're currently sitting curing. And you can see how easy it is to use these, and that the fact, like I say, the, the lines don't show. So I hope you have fun making yours. I'd love to see yours in the comments. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll speak to you all again soon, guys. Bye.